Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a medication known as infliximab. Its brand name is Remicade. And before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. Now in this presentation, we'll discuss the mechanism of action or how this medication works, indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, followed by contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe infliximab. I'll then touch on an example of dosing and then finish it off with side effects with percentages. I've put together some slides to go over this information. Let's just jump right into it. Well, the first thing to discuss here would be the mechanism of action or how this medication works. So infliximab is a monoclonal antibody with specific activity for human tumor necrosis factor alpha or TNF alpha. The specific activity of infliximab is high affinity binding to TNF alpha receptors and neutralizing TNF alpha activity. In terms of indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, we may see it used in moderate to severe Crohn's disease in patients who have failed conventional therapy. As well, this medication may be used in severe chronic plaque psoriasis or psoriatic arthritis. Patients with moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis may use infliximab, as well as patients who have moderate to severe ulcerative colitis in patients, again, who have failed conventional therapy. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe infliximab, while we wouldn't give this medication to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to infliximab or murine proteins or to any other component of the product. We also wouldn't use this medication at a dose of 5 mg per kilogram or greater than this dose if a patient had moderate to severe heart failure. Now for an example of dosing with this medication, so in Crohn's disease, the induction dose would be 5 mg per kilogram intravenously over at least 2 hours at weeks 0, 2, and 6 followed by the maintenance therapy. For maintenance therapy, we would see 5 mg per kilogram intravenously over at least 2 hours every 8 weeks. It should be noted here, however, that 10 mg per kilogram intravenously every 8 hours may be considered for patients who have initially responded to therapy but then became unresponsive. As with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using infliximab, so we'll go over some of those here now. A rash may happen in 10% of patients, and 12% of patients may experience abdominal pain. Nausea comes in at 21%, and headache at 18%. 12% of patients may experience a cough, and as well 12% may experience pharyngitis. Sinusitis may happen up to 14% of the time, and an upper respiratory infection may happen up to 32% of the time. 9% of patients may experience fatigue. Two serious side effects, just to note here there are a lot of other serious side effects with this medication, but we're just going to give two examples here. The one would be an infusion reaction, which can happen up to 20% of the time, as well as unexplained vision loss. All right, everybody, that's all we're going to talk about today with infliximab or Remicade. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, remember you can like the videos, share the videos, and most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. So for today, Take care.